As construction of the Eight Flags Energy Plant nears completion, a key component of the site moves to the forefront, the natural gas station. Natural gas is the fuel that will drive the Eight Flags Energy Combined Heat and Power Plant. In order to utilize the available natural gas supplied to the site via pipeline, a compression station has been constructed. This station features a compressor that raises the gas pressure from an incoming 300 PSIG to 425 PSIG as required by the Solar 250 turbine. This compression stage is only temporary since the pipeline gas pressure will eventually be increased to 425 PSIG. From the compressor, the natural gas flows into the gas station where the gas stream flows into a water bath heater. This system heats the gas to approximately 140 degrees Fahrenheit in order to remove any elemental sulfur that may exist in the gas stream, which could cause fouling of the turbine. Once heated, the gas stream flows into a filtration skid that removes any liquids and solids from the gas, which could also cause issues with the turbine. Finally, the heated filtered natural gas flows through a 4-inch ultrasonic meter for measurement and then onto the turbine. In addition to the turbine, there is another major component of the Eight Flags Energy Plant that is fueled by natural gas, the Heat Recovery Steam Generator, or HERSIG. At the gas station, there is a second meter in place that measures the gas flow for the HERSIG, reducing the gas line pressure to 40 PSIG. This allows for efficient production of high-quality steam for use at Rainier Advanced Materials. The Eight Flags Energy Combined Heat and Power System, projected to begin operation by the summer of 2016, uses natural gas to generate steam, heat, and electricity with high efficiency while reducing the carbon footprint of the operation.